Good morning, students. How are you? I am Sabra. Again, welcome you all to lecture number two of maths for class two. Before starting our today's lecture, let's take a quick overview of the last lecture. In the last lecture, we discussed about digits. Remember, students, what are the digits? Yes. They are the single unit numbers. Students, digits mean koi bhi number jo akela ho. Jaisi 0, 2, 5. Lekin digits ke saari number 0 se 9 tak hi hote hai. Kyunki 0 se 9 tak hi numbers akele hote hai. Okay? And we also discuss about numbers. Do you know what are numbers? Yes, when two or more digits make group together, they form number like 74, 289. Okay, let me explain in Urdu. Yani, jab do ya do se zyada digits aapas mein milte hain, to wo number banta hai. Jaysay agar hum three digits, 3, 9, 5 ko milayin, to wo ek number 395 banega. At third point, we discussed about base 10 numbers. Who wants to tell me what are base 10 numbers? They are 0 till 9. Students, aapne hamesha ye yaad akna hai. Hamara pura math system in numbers par depend karta hai. Kyunke हम इन नंबर्स की मदद से ही बड़े-बड़े नंबर बनाते हैं जैसे यूनिट 10 100 1000 10000 लाख 10 लाख और बहुत सारे नंबर्स और स्टूडेंट्स 0 से 9 तक जो नंबर्स होते हैं ना वो कौन से नंबर्स कहलाते हैं वो बेस 10 नंबर्स कहलाते हैं ओके एंड वी डिस्कस्ड आवर लास्ट टॉपिक इन आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर Place value of two digit numbers. What is place value? Its importance and how do we place digits on the right place? Before starting our lecture, let's see what we will discuss in today's presentation. First, we take a review of tens and units, which is very important. Second, we will talk about three-digit place value that are hundreds, tens and units. Third, we'll do an activity of ring digit numbers for hundreds, tens and units. Then expanded form and last but not the least in words which you all already learned in your previous class. Let's take a review of tens and units. As you know, tens are represented by bars. Students, hum tens ke liye bar kyu use karte hain? क्योंकि एक बार में 10 यूनिट्स होते हैं इसलिए हम इसे 110 कहते हैं और हमारे पास इस पिक्चर में कितने टेंस हैं स्टूडेंट्स 5 टेंस दैट इज इज इक्वल टू 50 एंड यूनिट्स कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ब्लॉक्स हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स वी हैव वेरी गुड वी हैव 4 यूनिट्स now students, tell me which number we get if we have 5 tens and 4 units? Yes, it's become a number 54. Similarly, 100 is represented by a box which has 10 bars. 10 bars means 10 tens. And 
ten tens is equal to hundred units. Now we are moving to our new topic, three digit place value. Place value is important to read numbers. Come on students, let's take an example. As you can see in this picture, there are three numbers. Each number is placed in their position. Like the number one is written in blue color. Can you all tell me where is it placed? Yes, it's placed in a hundredth position. Means the place value of one is one hundred. Similarly, the green color number is placed in tenth position. It means the place value of one is one ten. And Number 3 is placed in 3rd position. It means the place value of 3 is, yes, 3 units. Let's see one more, another example. For understanding this, we take the number 364. We write the number 364 in the place value chart. Like as number 3 in the hundreds column, number 6 in the tenths column, and number 4 in the units column. Now, let us look at the place value of each digit. As number 3 is in the hundreds column, it means that there are 300. So its place value is 300. As the number 6 is in the tenths column, it means that there are 6 tenths. So its place value is 60. And the number 4 is in the units column. So it means that there are 4 units. So its place value is 4. Now let's try to solve one more example of number 729. Let us place each number in its respected column. So number 7 in the hundreds column and number 2, yes, in the tenths column. And number 9, very good, in the units column. The place value of number 7 is, yes, 700. Because it is at hundreds place. Now, the place value of number 2 is 20, as there are 2 tenths. Now, the place value of number 9 is 9 because it is at units place. Now we are moving to our next topic, ring digit. Come on, let's do an activity. In this activity, you have to find the value of ring digit. Now, look number one. If I put the ring in number nine, can you tell me what is the place value of number nine? Yes, it's in the tenth position. So, it means the place value of nine is 9 tenths or you can say 90. Now, number 2 is 162 and I am putting a ring in number 2. Can you tell me 
What is the place value of two? Yes, it's two units or you can write as two. Now, the last number is 840 and the ring digit is 8. So, tell me the place value of 8. Yes, it is 800. I hope you all understand 2 and 3 digit place value. Now, we are moving to our next topic, expanded form. What do we mean by an expanded form of a number? Writing a number as the sum of the place value of its digits is called its expanded form. Students, number ki place value. अभी हमने स्लाइड सिक्स और सेवन में देखा कि नंबर की प्लेस वैल्यू को कैसे पुट करते हैं तो नंबर की प्लेस वैल्यू को जब हम ऐड करते हैं प्लस करते हैं तो उसे हम एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म कहते हैं ओके लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड विद एन एग्जांपल लेट अस राइट द एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म ऑफ द नंबर 326. First, we write the number 326 in the place value chart as number 3 in the hundreds place, number 2 in the tens place, number 6 in the units place. Now, to find the place value of each digit because in an expanded form, we have to add the place value. So, the value of 3 is 300. The value of 2 is 20. And the place value of 6 is 6 units. Now, write 326 as the sum of the place value of its digits. That is 326 is, is equal to 300 plus 20 plus 6. Yani students, humne place value ko add kiya to hume expanded form hasil hui. And now, the next and the last topic of today's lecture is write in words. And you can say also number names. Dear students, as you already know, in words are the spellings of given number. In words kya hote hain? Numbers ki? Numbers ko spelling mein jo hum likhte hain, usse hum in words kehte hain. It may be two or three or more digit numbers. Students, जैसे कि हम पहले slide number six में पढ़ चुके हैं कि number को read करने के लिए place value की need होती है, तो फिर हम write in words को place value के जरिए ही understand करते हैं. So now consider this number seven hundred and twenty four. Can you tell me the place value of each digit? Very good. The digit 7 is in the hundreds place. Digit 2 is in the tenths place. And the digit 4 is in the units place. Let us see how to read this number. The number in the hundreds place is 7. The last two numbers together are read as 24. So the number is 724. It is written as this 724. Students, notice the sign between 20 and 4. 
it is called a hyphen it is used for writing the names of number that are joins students हाइफिन को हम क्यों यूज करते हैं हाइफिन को हम दो वर्ड्स को अलग करने के लिए जो दो नंबर्स होते हैं काउंटिंग के उन नंबर्स को अलग करने के लिए हम हाइफिन यूज करते हैं ओके लेट सी अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ नंबर 160। लुक नंबर वन इज प्लेस इन द हंड्रेड प्लेस Number six is placed in the tens place, and number zero is placed in the units place. So the number one hundred and sixty is read and written as one hundred and sixty. Now, students, let's solve this activity with me. At number one, we have number seven four seven. How could we write in words? First. We have to read this number carefully. This number is seven hundred and forty-seven. Now we can write easily in spellings. But students, remember one thing: don't forget to put hyphen between forty and seven. The next number we have is two hundred and one. We can write in spelling like this: two hundred and one. It's a review time. We took a preview of digits, numbers, and base ten system. We learn about two and three digit place value. we also learn about expanded form and inverts i hope you all have understood today's lecture it's time for home assignment are you ready okay in question number 1 you have to circle the digit question number 2 is Fill the missings of base ten numbers. Your question number three is write in hundreds, tens, and units. In question number four, you have to find out the place value of underlined digit. In question number five, you have to write numbers. in words question number 6 is write the numbers of the given words your question number 7 is write in expanded form after this you have to complete book pages from 2 till 6 in book thank you everyone for being with us see you soon allah hafiz